Okay, this is my Voyager class rescue ratchet. By the way, this is Transat 74. I'm here for another Transformer review. And uh, this is a particularly good figure. Um, this is probably one of my two favorite Voyager series. I like this one. I also like Ironhide. Um, I, I really like this one. Um, it has a couple faults on it, which I'll let you know here in a minute, but I'm trying to get this review done before my battery on my camera goes away. It's the H2 Hummer. It's the repaint of the regu of the original Ratchet. I believe the original one was kind of a neon yellow or a greenish type color. You got the grill here. I think it probably would have been better if you had more of a clear plastic lenses, but I mean, you know, that's just me. Other than that, it's really good. And unless you play with it a lot like I do, it's pretty tight <laughs> transformation on mine hopefully you won't see it on this one but this little part right here and this little part right here loves to pop off on me when I'm trying to transform it I don't know if y'all do the same but mine's notorious for popping off but as I said I'm going to try to get to this review fairly quickly the luggage rack here becomes his weapon later on Let's right here and kind of let's go ahead and start the transformation and cross your fingers so that it doesn't disappear, that it doesn't fall apart on me. <laughs> First, what you're going to do is you're going to pop these doors out. Well, they're not really doors, but the side of it out. Same thing over here. Pop that one out. Fold it over, and then pull out your arm right here. So it looks like that. Do the same thing over here. You hear one click, then you can just kind of pop the arm out. Now already the windshield's caved in. <laughs> and the windshield likes giving me problems, as you will probably see. Um, then you go ahead and bend your legs out, like yon, like that. Go ahead and uh, pop your automorph. If you look really close here, you'll see the knee pop out. Wow. Automorph. I'll give it about a half of one star on the automorph feature. It's a really good transformer. It's just that automorph needs some work. Okay, now. There is one little... Well, let me go ahead and get the hips out here first. You're going to go ahead and turn... Try to get it in the camera. Turn your hips out like that. Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, hold up. First off, you turn your legs around like this. See, sorry about that. And you turn it around, and you go ahead and get your cod piece here. And then you try to get these arms out of your way because your arms are what's going to get in your way during this little windshield part. Okay, you go ahead and this windshield, you put the glass around the back like this, and then you got a little bit of a inside here, it kind of just pops up like that. I don't know if you've seen that on camera, let me do it again. Get your windshield right here. You've already got your things in the back. Underneath here, that little bar there, it kind of pops up like that and it pops back like that. Okay. Now, you go ahead and you put this right here. The windshield that pops right into place. Now, you're going to go ahead and take your arm here. Turn it around like this, just like that. Do the same thing with this one right here. Turn it around, fold it out, and then there's his arm. Same here, fold it. <laughs> That's a new one. My arm hadn't fallen off before. <laughs> but it's a quick fix, it's right there. Now, you kind of take this part open right here and you turn the head around and there's Ratchet. Now, there's a little feature on here that I don't 
for the most part used too much. I think his claw looks a heck of a lot better, but I'll go ahead and tell you about it. It's this little hand right here. You got a little compartment here. You flip it up, you can flip this in here like this. And he has what I believe is described as a battle axe. This opens up. And he has a little axe right here. Now, on the whole, you look at the thing. I think the axe part looks kind of dorky. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to put away his axe. And if you do mind, well, I feel bad for you. This is my review. Put away his axe. Bring out his claw. And that looks a lot better. Now, let's go ahead and put on his... Let's get a wide view. Go ahead and put on his weapon. Now, his weapon... This little tab right here goes right in here like this. And he wears it like that. Now, a buddy of mine on YouTube has pointed out to me that it can be worn another place where it's kind of out of the way. You can kind of turn it around here. And there's a little tab right here. And I'm trying to close her up up and right here which is a little thing you need to put back to becomes his head you can put that right in there like this which I've never seen anybody other than this one this guy told me put it back there like that that way it's out of your way and then you got your repaint of jazz, I'm uh, sorry your repaint of ratchet it's really cool the camera up so you can kind of see a bird's eye view of them He's got the um, light piping. I haven't got a little light to show you. He's, and he's a pretty big figure. I mean, there's Nightwatch Optimus, and I bet you he comes up to a shoulder on him. He's probably about the tallest one on the voyage. Let me go ahead and put him next to uh, Ratchet. And, uh, yep, he's got maybe just a hair bigger than Ratchet, sorry, bigger than Ironhide, I can't even talk today, uh, but this uh, Ironhide looks a little bit stringy compared to this beefy uh, Ratchet, and um, um, as I said, transforming him, you get a little bit of a problem with the little um, windshield that becomes his hip, because you got a little joint on there, once you know about the joint, and it doesn't fall apart on you. It's really pretty easy. The um, as I said, back here on the behind the thighs. Let me remove my weapon here. Behind the thighs on this side, for some reason, that keeps popping off. Now I did transform this a lot when I first got it, and that might explain why that might be a little bit weak or whatever. But I believe you should play with toys. You know, but I mean, I believe this is a really good figure. Uh, I'm glad I got it. I, I don't have the original one, but judging by what I've seen of the original one, I'd prefer to have this one anyway, the repaint. Uh, I just seen a guy online, I couldn't tell you what his name was. He complained about this little claw right here on the other claw on the original one. The claw keeps falling out. Not the claw, but the little axe that, that folds out keeps falling off. And, uh, well, that's another reason not to have the axe on there. But, uh, like I said, I really like this toy. I'm on about 9 minutes and 15 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and end this and uh, thank all of y'all for your uh, continued support. And this is TransTat, and I'm signing off.